So today's video is actually going to be a pretty quick tutorial. I really wanted to show you guys how I made my slit leggings. You might have seen them in my Jeffrey Campbell slash Black Milk Lita unboxing video. At the very end of that video, when I was actually showing the shoes on, um, I was definitely wearing them. Uh, I get so many compliments on them when I wear them out, and I'm definitely in need of a new pair, so I thought, why not record the process of me making them so you guys can see and maybe make some for yourself. I absolutely love them. I was personally inspired by um, BabyXJ on Instagram. She's definitely one of my favorite people that I follow on Instagram. She's so inspiring, 100%. I just love her to death. Um, but she had, I don't know if it was pants or if it was leggings. Anyways, they had these slits in them all down the front. Um, I wasn't sure about the back, but uh, I do the back on mine, and I just, I really was compelled to make them, so I want to show you guys how to make them. Now, what will you need? It's actually so simple. Um, three things. Um, first off, I highly suggest you get a white eyeliner. I'm just going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil because my eyeliner ran away and I can't find it, but something creamy and white, but if you're going to be doing this on white leggings, I suggest a darker eyeliner. Anyways, something creamy will help for sure. Next, you will obviously need a pair of scissors. You can go out and buy a pretty good pair for like three dollars at Walmart. I got these right around Christmas time. You don't want to get a pair of scissors that you've had for a bunch of years. They're kind of getting dull and it's hard to cut things because it's just you're gonna have jagged edges everywhere. It's just not gonna look right. So definitely get a nice pair of scissors that cut straight lines and are really easy to cut into fabric. And lastly, third thing, you just need a pair of leggings. And um, the first pair that I did, I just bought them from Walmart, $5 leggings, and I haven't been able to find them since. So I went over to um, Forever 21 and I picked up a pair, um, I think they were like $7, like $6.80. So, around $7 for these just normal plain black leggings, which would be boring, but we're going to spice them up a bit. So, if you're interested in finding out how to do this, it's so simple, really, it's a no-brainer, but I'm going to show you anyways. Um, stick around for sure, um, and I'll let you know how to get them made. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to actually jump right into the leggings, try them on, kind of walk around a little bit, and see where they like kind of fall on your body. Um, just because if you end up cutting too high and it rides up, you never know, you just, you want to be sure. So throw the leggings on and give a quick little walk around of your house. Alright, so now that you have the leggings on and you've done a little bit of walk around your house, kind of feel around the back of your legs. And you have to kind of like judge where you are most comfortable with your skin showing. Um, and kind of like find where that place is, use your little um, white or dark pencil, whatever you're using, and give it a little bit of a marking to show yourself like where you want that last slit to be because you don't want to just kind of guess and cut them all up, get them on and then realize, oh my gosh, half my tush is showing, I don't want this to happen, I just messed up. Because I don't think it's as easy to just sew those holes back up as it is to just do it correctly in the first place. So kind of find where you're comfortable, make a little mark with your pencil. Okay, so you're going to want to take the leggings off, and since you only made one mark on the back of the pants, which is what I do, it works the best for me instead of trying to line it up while I'm wearing them, I make one mark where I'm comfortable, and you're going to want to bring the leggings out, lay them flat on your carpet, and kind of make another mark on the other leg parallel to it, just kind of like right next to it, just so you have markings on both legs. 
All right, so now that you have them laid out, try and get as close as you possibly can to the other side with your marking. So you're just going to kind of want to give it a rough little guesstimate there, and you're going to want to make another line. Day. That's about the same. Okay, so now how you're going to want to fold these is you're going to want to take them and fold them the complete opposite direction that they're in now. So just kind of like watch what I do. Just pick up the one side and you're going to flip them so that they're just one little leg going down. However, obviously it's two. But you're going to want to fold them a bit of an awkward angle. Because <laughs> I don't know how many people fold their leggings like this. Okay. So you're going to want to get it as perfect as you possibly can. Because this is how you're going to get your slits to be the same on both sides. So try and get it as much as you can spread out so that they're at the same length on both sides which can be very difficult trust me <laughs> takes a bit of practice that's for sure okay so now that you have the leggings laid out as best as you possibly can sideways <laughs> You're going to want to take your trusty scissors. Now, remember, you less is definitely, definitely more when it comes to this situation. You do not want to be cutting way too much at the beginning thinking that your slit's going to be this long if you cut this long because that's not true. You have to take into account that you're cutting both sides of the material here. So if you do a one inch slit, you're going to get a two inch slit, which is what I always like to go off on my first cuts. I like to just do a little bit like one inch to begin with and then you try them on and you see if they fit. So we're going to do the slits all the way down the bottom and once again we're going to want to do them all the way down the front as well. So start off with the back. Mocho, make sure you lock up your cats too. I like to keep about an inch between them because you have to Remember that fabric definitely curls if you decide to wash them, so it's going to curl up quite a bit. So if you want to keep them really thick, I suggest making them really thick, but about an inch is what I like to do. So now I've slitted the entire back of them and I'm going to go over to the other end and do the exact try and do the exact same slits on the front. Okay. So now that you have all the slits up and down both sides of the leggings, you're going to want to try them on just to see kind of how your slits are doing, if they're long enough for you, any preferences you might have, you got to find out now. So just slip them on real quick and see how they look. So, so far, this is how they look. You can see they've got the slits going on them. For me, I find that the slits are a little bit too small 
So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and take them off, go back in with my scissors, and give them a little, just tiny little snips at the very end of each line. And something else that actually helps a lot is when you pull, give a very gentle tug to the ends of the slits. They'll curl up a little bit, but they'll also get a little bit longer and deeper, as you can see. And that is basically it. Super, super simple do-it-yourself. Seriously, the only hard part about it is, is sometimes you have to put them on, take them off, put them on, take them off. Just, just get those small things that you want to change. Like, let's say one of the slits is a little bit too short, you just kind of take it off, give it a little snip, try them on again, see if it's better. It's all up to your own preferences, as big, as small as you want them to be. But it is really easily the most simple do-it-yourself I've ever done. Um, I could say that I could see beginners doing this just fine, no problem whatsoever. So uh, if you guys decide to make these, please leave a video response below. I would love, love to see your guys' journey with this do-it-yourself stuff. And I'm going to go because it's actually getting really dark out and there's not a lot more I can do once the lights go out of the sky. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit informational. I'm not so well at filming these do-it-yourselves. I've never done that before. It's kind of hard to get all the angles right. So uh, for a first time, I think I did kind of okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Nonetheless, um, if you did, make sure to thumbs up the video. That would be amazing. And if you're not following, you should. So... Uh, Click the subscribe button above if you'd like to see more. So uh, I hope you guys are having a great week. Thanks so much for stopping by to watch. And I hope you're all just doing wonderfully. So have a good night, guys. Bye.